Hey y'all, it's Jada Mahogany, your beauty bestie, and I'm back with another video. As you can see, I'm going to be doing a big behind sheen haul, so let's just go ahead and get straight into it. Okay, so I'm going to apologize in advance if things, if the video, I don't know. So these are some heels that I got from Sephora. Um, I'm going to put the price on the screen. I really, really like these. These are cute. These are just some um, kind of like black acid wash cargos. I love the fact that it has the elastic, the elastic on the waist part back here because y'all know how that can be. If you a thick girl, you know how that can be. So um, all of the pockets are real. So except the back pockets, these are not real. But the front pockets are real. The side pockets, the side pockets are real, and the pants do. They do go all the way down to the floor, so I can wear heels if I want. For reference, I'm five, five and a half. So I really can't try this on because it doesn't have the clasp in the back. It just has the um, the lace, but I really wanted a corset. This is really cute. I just ordered a black corset in a medium because the last time I ordered one in a large, it was too um, big because I, I don't really have a large chest. So this is just what it looks like. And I did plan on pairing it with um, these jeans and then like one of those little sweater thingies. So yeah, that's that. Okay, so I actually like, this was the top that I got to wear with the black cargos, this right here. But this is a um, blue denim skirt that has a split in the front. I think I'm gonna get my step two so I can step up and show y'all. But I had a whole outfit planned for this and somebody stole my package, y'all. But I really, really like the way this fits. It has good stretch. All the pockets are real. And I plan on, um, I got an outfit planned for this. So y'all see it on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel. So y'all don't miss anything. I'll probably be doing a vlog when I do wear it. But this skirt is really, really cute. This shirt is cute. I do have it on backwards, but don't worry about it. But this is how it looks. It's not like too see-through, and I really, really like that. So these two pieces, definitely a 10 out of 10. I looked at the fabric and everything before I bought this stuff because I don't want a situation where I don't have it for a long time because the quality is like really, really trash. So Anyways, there's that. Okay, y'all, so now I'll just be trying on top. So I got like this three pack of mock turtlenecks, right? And it came in this brown color, white and black. Please, if you get this size down, it has like a lot of stretch to it. It's not really um, like a real sweater material. I don't know how to explain it, but it's not a t-shirt material and it's not like super, super thick like like sweaters i like this kind of stuff to wear with like lighter jackets like if you live in the midwest you know like we still gonna give a look regardless if it's cold or not and these are just really good for layering and if you are like me and wear high-waisted stuff i have a lot of cropped tops because i wear a lot of high-waisted stuff i don't typically get full lift tops but this is what it looks like it's a three pack it's less than twenty dollars and you get this color white and black Okay, so I got these short sleeve like mock turtleneck things and it has like a design print on it. I got it in black and white. This is a size medium. Um, I probably could have gotten a size small, but I would say it just depends. Like I think I could have gotten a size small, but I don't like to have a wedgie with the bodysuit. So like I just got the medium, but this is what it looks like. It's really, really cute. I feel like this is gonna be real cute to layer with um, and all that good jazz. And it's really, really soft, y'all. Please look at the material when you're ordering this stuff and you will find that you'll get better quality, I guess you could say. So that's what this looks like. I have it in black. I'm not gonna try that one on. Y'all, I did not realize I ordered this turtleneck in a large. I was supposed to order it in a medium. So it's a little big, but get into this little cream vest number. This was really cute. This is a longer vest that stops like at my calves. And are these? Oh, that is so cute. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so this is a vest. Yes, the vest zips up. Now, I kind of like what they did here because it's like invisible pockets. 
as if you live somewhere cold, you'll understand, you'll, you'll understand the whole invisible pocket thing. But yeah, this is really, really cute. I do have an outfit plan for this as well. And this is my first ever like bubble vest. And I like, I like longer jackets. So this is cute. This zips up. Um, I got it in a size large. It did not come in a bigger size. So I would say if you wear over a size, let me see. I can't zip it. Oh. Anyways, if you wear over a size 14, this large is not gonna fit, baby. Um, I can zip this up. It closes all the way for me to button it, but I got hips and stuff. I wear a size 14. If you're bigger than that, this is not gonna fit, my dear. So, yeah, unless you're like more, like, I don't know, it just depends, but I doubt that it fits. So that's what that looks like. Okay, so this is the last item, um, of, the last clothing item, I think, which is a pair of black leggings. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. When I bought these, it said like tummy control leggings, and I was hoodwinked because it show, as you can see, it has like, this band right here and you're thinking all of this is thick but literally the elastic is only this part so would i order these would i tell somebody to order these no not necessarily but i like the fabric because if you're like wanting to go out and wear like an actual pair of leggings the fabric doesn't look cheap like in in person like you can wear a blouse and a boot with these type of leggings am i gonna keep these probably not because i should have ordered a medium and these are a large so they i would say they are tall, tall girl friendly um they stop a little bit past my ankle but these are too a little too um big in a waist part so let me show you guys the accessories Okay, so I ordered this little chain bag. Um, you can wear it as a clutch or you can wear it as like a little chain bag. So let me put the chain on there. And you can't really fit much in here. Maybe a card or two. Probably not even that. Maybe a lip gloss or something like that. But I felt like it was a cute little statement bag. So... This is what it looks like. This is kind of where it hits on me. And it's just like a cute little statement bag. It, either you into stuff like this or you're not. There's just no in between. But these unpractical bags, I think they're really, really cute. So um, I did get this. Okay, now the quality of this is actually really good. Surprisingly, I'm, I'm thoroughly surprised actually. And this is, like I said, something to put like a lip gloss or whatever. Um, and it is a belt bag. Ugh. So this is a bag that's kind of just meant to be worn like a belt. Um, I did get this cause I got something going on. I'll tell y'all later. But yeah, this is just like a cute little, I mean, just imagine you got like a little cute outfit and you just want to kind of accessorize it. This is really cute. I love a good accessory and it got like that detail on it. This, this, get this, the quality on this is really, really, really good. So there's my little chain bag. So I am such an accessory girly. The people who get it, get it. The people who don't listen, you're basic. Anyways. So this little silver bag I thought was really, really cute. Um, let me take this out. It's just a small mini bag, the inside, and then it has um, a crossbody. You can hold it by the top or you can do it as a crossbody, but I thought this was really, really cute. Um, the quality of this is so, so, it's just, it's like, it's mid, it's mid, but not like, not like a bad mid, but it's not like, you get what I'm saying? Like super duper firm. So that's why I say it's mid. Like the other bag that I showed y'all, that was like firm and like a really good quality faux leather. So this is okay. And this is gonna be worn with the denim skirt outfit that I have like put together until somebody stole my jacket. But. 
So there's that. And then I do have a belt to show y'all and a pair of shoes. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you do not miss anything. Like this video if you are enjoying the try on. I'll probably be doing another one because I feel like people don't be trying on the clothes for real bodies. Real bodies. You know what I'm saying? Mom bods, lipidema bods, that kind of stuff. So if you like this video, support. Now before I put this belt on, I'm gonna show it to you guys and explain why I got this little mini belt, okay? So this is what it looks like. It's just a black belt with um, a silver tip. And the reason I got this is, have you ever been in a situation where you got a pair of high-waisted pants, you got a top, you got your jacket, and then something just seems, something is off and you can't really put your finger around what is off. Baby, it's because you need a belt. You need a belt because what the belt is gonna do, I feel like it's gonna separate, it's gonna separate the outfit. And what I mean by separate the outfit, it's like it breaks up the top from the bottom. You get what I'm saying? like. Sometimes like that one outfit with no mid, like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like if you're into clothing and stuff like that, you might get it, but you need to break up that outfit some. So I thought this was a really cute way to do that when I wear like body suits and stuff with high waisted um, bottoms. Cause that's typically all I wear. Cause I do have a higher waist and wide hips and it just looks the best on me. So yeah, that's what that looks like. And then last but not least is the shoes. And we will wrap this show, wrap this show up. Okay, so this is the last item, which is the shoe. Okay, y'all. I am super, super excited. My sister, shout out to Mimi, was telling me, Listen, you gotta try the shoes, you gotta try the shoes. My sister is a big, big sheen shopper and she always be on point, okay, y'all? So this shoe is such good quality. Like, look at the detail on the bottom. The top, the sides. Listen, I know what Nike been putting out for Jordans. It has been some trash lately, okay? And I feel like this shoe was made better than the Jordans that I got my baby. Okay, that, that's like genuinely how I feel. These are a 10 out of 10 for me. And they went as far as to not put that paper in there and put actual like styrofoam. And I love that. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. Like this video if you enjoy this randomness. I know it's not for everybody. Um, me and my camera got things going on. So yeah, this was recorded with my phone. But, um... I would say I genuinely loved all the pieces that I got. Like, I have been building this sheen cart for like ever, literally like a month. Like I've been building this cart for a month. I've been looking at the quality of the clothing. I've been looking at reviews. I've been looking at the materials. I've been looking at everything because I'm genuinely not a person that's just gonna buy something that's in trend and the quality is not good. So genuinely, everything was good quality for me except the, what is this? The black jumpsuit, I didn't really like that. And then it was something else in here that I can't remember what it was that did not, oh, and those leggings. Those two things were not, uh -uh. I did not care for those at all. I probably won't buy no more legging material stuff off of Sheen. I just didn't, the material for me just wasn't, just wasn't good. And if you're a bigger person, you understand that the bigger the clothing item, if it's cheap, it's definitely gonna give cheap. So I didn't really like those things, but everything else was for sure a 10 out of 10. So I'm not gonna like like um, link the two things that I didn't like, but I will link everything else with the sizes um, that I chose. And for reference, like I said before, I am 185 and I am 5'5". Five five. So, that should do you some good there. These were size eight and a half and everything else was a medium or a large. So thank you guys so much for supporting me, for watching this video. Y'all know I'm y'all beauty bestie. I'm gonna keep it real with everything and I will see you guys in the next video.